guys welcome back to a new video i am filming myself getting ready today i um, mean i thought i'd include my skincare because i used to do this like over a year ago i would include my skincare and i think it's fun um this is the only angle i can get in my bathroom because i can't fit my camera with the microphone on our shelf so this is what you're gonna have to look at I just have to like wash my face and everything. So I was like, let me take you through my skincare and then we'll get ready. I have some family coming over, my mom, with my aunt and my cousin. So we're gonna get ready. Um, for my cleanser, I've been, I'm gonna start getting facials and stuff. I've had one done already. After my vacation to Santorini, I'm gonna start getting like peels, peel, peels, peelings. Or I might do the Derma Pen, I think it's called. Um, but I, basically bought the skincare that my facialist is the other word suggested to me so the cleanser i'm using is by skin suticles it's all quite expensive i'm sorry it's not budget friendly this is their blemish plus h cleanser so i'm gonna cleanse my face real quick you really don't have to use a lot of this but a lot comes out so i have to be very careful like i need the tiniest bit so my skin is already doing so much better when i dropped my own skincare i was using and started using their stuff so i'm excited to see how it's gonna go and also when we do like the peeling or the derma pen like if that helps with my hyperpigmentation and stuff around my mouth so and also getting rid of um, a lot of scars that i have but this cleanser is really nice it doesn't really foam much but it has this like kind of minty feel to it almost so it just feels very refreshing I used to use like a bunch of different serums on my skin, but now I've really like minimalized it and I'm just using what they told me to use and it's been so nice. I feel like I was just overdoing it. Like when you're really trying to better your skin, you just start using anything and everything and it was just not good for me. So face is cleansed and then I use ooh, this Mesostetic Glyco Repair. It's a purifying and repairing cream that stimulates cell renewal. Also, only need a little bit of this. I don't use a toner. And then for my day cream, they suggested the Mesosthetics. It's a whitening cream. It doesn't necessarily like whiten your skin or like bleach your skin, but it's supposed to lighten the hyperpigmentation. So a whitening cream for a translucent and even complexion. So I've been using this. I use two pumps because I do like being very moisturized. All this was so expensive though, guys, like, especially because I got it at the salon, but I was like, let me just get it. Hopefully it works. Let me just invest into my skincare, but I definitely get it if most of you, like, don't want to buy this because of the price because it's just a lot. And then they also gave me a sunscreen, but I just want to use up my Dear Claire's one because it's also really good. Um, put on quite a bit. There's this girl on TikTok that uses, like, it's like a tablespoon or like a teaspoon. She uses a lot. She like rubs it all in, but I'm not about to do that. It's too much, dude. I'm sure her skin's gonna look great when she's like 40, but. And that's pretty much all for my morning skincare. I'm just gonna put on some Carmex. My lips are so dry. I didn't put any on last night. Always brush through my brows with a spoolie. <laughs> and I think that's all. I just need to finish my dental hygiene i use these like toothpicks instead of floss and just go through each gap i need to get my wisdom teeth taken out this month i'm just gonna suck my bottom too they're gonna take it out so i am gonna vlog it but you're not gonna see any like crazy drugged up footage because here in the netherlands they don't do that like they do in the u.s like we just get numbed but you don't like you're not gonna be high so sorry for that but <laughs> so that is it for skincare i'm going to go downstairs now and do my makeup wait i need to moisturize my body actually i haven't done that my legs are ashy <laughs> i was gonna wear something different but since i'm hanging out with family today i was like let me kind of just keep it somewhat appropriate i guess like i mean i don't really care usually i just wear whatever but i was like i'll just go for a cute little dress so it's not too much okay i also need to actually clean my tattoos 
kind of want to take this off should i do it i'm supposed to take it off tomorrow but i kind of want to do it today so i'm just gonna wet it Let's see if i can take it off it's never nice to take off but it does help if you get it wet ew that's so disgusting i hate taking this off some people do it dry and i don't get that like i took it off it looks so good i always use this to clean my tattoos they also have like a hand soap but i kind of like using this i also use this in the shower to clean my nipple piercings because even though they're pretty much healed they still get crusty so i still have to clean my nipple piercings just rubbing it with this also my hand which already came off because it was like hands are really hard to keep on and then my neck it looks so good. Love. Okay. Let's go ahead and do my hair and makeup. Um, because I feel like they're gonna get here soon, and I also kind of still need to go to the grocery store. As soon as I'm done with my makeup and everything, I'm gonna pop this onto my tattoos. First things first is hair. I've been doing this kind of like high or like mid bun look because I'm not getting my hair braided for another like week or so um actually longer like two weeks i really like this care care gel it's really really nice i do have some flakes in my hair though so i'm gonna pop a little bit of oil this one i've just been loving care care their stuff is so good i'm just gonna pop some oil in there it's very dirty already so yeah it leaves a little bit of flakes but nothing too bad honestly I feel like eco styler gives more flakiness so i take half of my hair up and i just put it clip it away for a bit just like that doing it in two sections just makes the bun so much more neat and it stays longer so section that off and then take this down and i'm basically gonna Put it up. This looks weird. I'm gonna put it up the way I want to wear it, which is like this with the middle part. I think that looks really nice. Do that, and then I'm gonna take the gel onto a brush like this. I'm just gonna start brushing it down in the direction I want it to go. I did ask you guys to send me in topics to talk about, so I'm gonna grab those once I start doing my makeup. But something I'm just going to talk about right now is I watched back some of the fights from the like TikTokers versus YouTubers because I was not going to stay up at midnight to watch it. But um, I don't know all of the people. I watched the Bryce Hall and Austin McBroom fight. I don't like either of them, but <laughs> Bryce definitely got his ass beat, which is embarrassing. Um, I was, like, even though I don't like either of them i was kind of hoping for bryce to win because awesome broom is just like the worst person ever like i just do not like him at all i would have loved for him to lose but wait where's my oh here so i use a smaller hair tie like a thinner one to lift this up i just need to make sure there's gel all up in there so it stays nice so yeah, and then I was surprised Vinny Hacker won because I I um I was like kind of scared he wasn't gonna win because I was like ooh like you're going against this Deji Deji guy I don't know him but I was like oh this is gonna be an interesting one but he won and I I was like her as he should King I feel like no one expected him to win so that's always nice when you don't do win and you like surprise everyone and I'm pretty sure he's the only TikToker that won a fight so that's something i'm gonna brush this back and then i'm gonna pop some more gel on my brush and slick this back as well if you have a hard time making a really nice slick bun i definitely recommend doing it in two sections like if you just have a lot of hair like i do so i just make sure this is nice and tight and then i secure it with another hair tie and don't use hair ties with metal thingies on it because those are really bad for your hair and then i'm gonna go in with some red one wax and a toothbrush and lay down my baby hairs yeah anyways it was entertaining to watch those boxing matches 
Um, there was this, there was Taylor Hold, Holder, Holden, I don't know what his name is. And then this other YouTuber guy. I literally don't know most of these people anyways, but um, they were, it was like a draw or like a tie or whatever you want to call it. And that, that one was definitely not, that was rigged because Taylor did not win that fight very clearly. And then there was this other guy. I'll put the names on the screen because like don't ask me like I literally don't know these people this other guy like knocked out the second round or something that was embarrassing kind of for the other guy but clearly that was like a very solid win I didn't watch like the Jake Paul stuff because I don't care for those people but I thought this one was kind of fun to watch and like there was a lot going on about it online so I was like let me watch it back like watch some of the highlights and stuff okay so then for my bun I'm gonna put a little bit more oil on my hair for the, this and then I'm gonna pop some gel on it this is gonna help me slick down the bun or else I'm gonna have flyaways so I take my gel through my hair and then I just twist it I'm just gonna twist this around until I'm happy with it and then take my hair tie and secure it down this would also be really cute with a ponytail extension, but I don't really want to do that right now. So this is the hair done. Just a little sleek bun. I don't know. I think it looks nice. And it's just, especially with this weather, it's just nice to have my hair out of my face. So there you go. And I don't like wearing my hair down, like I say all the time. I'm also going to pop a little bit of this texture texturizing hairspray from the way on there. I think on the bun too, because the bun likes to have flyaways. If you want to make your bun bigger, you can always use like extensions or braiding hair, or like you can add braiding hair and make like a long braid. That would be really cute, but I don't have much time right now. Okay, time for makeup. Um, I'm not going to put on foundation, but I'll show you guys kind of what I've been doing to create somewhat of a full face. But it's more like summer proof, I guess. It's not as thick and not as many layers. Um, let me quickly go wet my beauty sponge. This is very dirty, but it's from the Morphe XRL brush set thing. They sent me like the whole thing. So I have all new brushes now and a new sponge as well. For the skin, I, I definitely still have oily skin. So I need to um, prime really well. Let me also grab the questions. Or the topics you wanted me to talk about oh my necklaces are shifting i hate when this happens you know what let me just leave it for now i'll fix this later wait i'm gonna try to do my makeup in 30 minutes do you have any awkward sexual stories okay i don't hope this i hope this doesn't get demonetized because it might maybe if i just don't put it in the title <laughs> um there was this I'm, i don't know if it's awkward and like nothing ended up happening but I was like dating around with this guy and we were like, okay, you know, we were at a hotel. Honestly, when you are like dating around with someone and you go to a hotel, like, especially when you both still live at home, you kind of know why you're going to a hotel, right? Like, it's like, okay, now we have privacy. Let's get it on with. And nothing ended up happening, which to me was really awkward because I was like ready. And then it was just like crickets. <laughs> and uh, he ended up just going to sleep and i felt so awkward i don't know if that's if that's an actual like awkward sexual story but for me that was really awkward because i was just like uh not me ready waxed you know and then i'm just laying here like texting my friends at like 2 a.m not being able to sleep because i was like damn like dude left me hanging and now i'm in a hotel room with this dude that's not even gonna do anything so not saying you're forced to obviously but like that was kind of my expectation and it just didn't end up happening so that was really awkward for me how to make and keep girlfriends dude i wish i could tell you because i've i've never dated a girl i've had feelings for girls before but i've never dated any because i'm terrified and it's such a like i'm just don't have any experience with it so it's even more scary to me like I find it easier to date with guys because i already know what it's like and with girls it's like i want to date you oh, i'm terrified I feel like a girl could break my heart even more than a guy would so I'm like very scared but 
dude i don't know i can't give you any advice on that also i'm gonna leave all the products i'm using in the description because if i mention everything this video is gonna be so long but i'm basically just taking a darker foundation and using it to cream contour and bronze because it just minimizes the amount of powder i have to use and it might look a little splotchy i don't know my makeup turns out different every day and i try to not make it splotchy but you know it's whatever you gotta trust the process this looks weird but trust the process okay let's see what else do we have what is one place you would never get a tattoo or piercing well piercing i'd say like my cooch <laughs> i could never get like a clip piercing or something like that shit's off limits for me sounds so painful as well and then the tattoo would probably be my face like i'd never get anything in my face tattooed but i feel like with tattoos i'm open to like a lot of different spots like i never thought i'd get anything in my neck and obviously it's tiny but yeah i don't know i guess no face tats and then <laughs> no clip piercings <laughs> do you think the lockdown made you introverted now that everyone everything's opening up again um, I feel like I've always been quite introverted. Um, I can be social. I can do I can do that when I need to, but I definitely still like being by myself at home or just being at home with like a friend or my mom. Like I'm very I'm very introverted actually. But I definitely think it made me more introverted because like I just wasn't being social at all. So yeah, whenever I have something social going on, like yesterday I had family come over, today I'm having family come over. And then at the end, when everyone leaves, I'm so exhausted. I don't know if you guys have that too, but I'm just mentally drained from being social. Do you guys ever get that? It's, and then like, I mean, it was a really fun day, but like every time I have people over and I have to entertain people and be social, like I'm just exhausted and I, need to not be social for like a couple of weeks <laughs> like i have after my family leaves today like i'm just i need to like recharge for three months just gonna do my brows i do have to hurry up a little bit more because i just feel like they could text me they're on their way any moment what do you do for a living well everything you're watching right now my social media my instagram that's my job so I, I get that question quite often and I was like, I thought it was kind of obvious, but social media is my full-time job Has been for the past couple years and yeah I'm not gonna answer too many like girl talk related questions because a lot of them I've already answered in my girl talks So if you want to like hear me answer those type of questions, definitely just watch my girl talks Today's just a more chill like just answering random stuff while I get ready because I kind of don't want this to get demonetized. My girl talks usually do get demonetized. Would you be able to leave in a totally disconnected place like in the middle of nature? I honestly could. Like once I settle down, like right now I love living in the city. I next year I really want to buy an apartment in the city. When I say city, I mean Rotterdam. Kind of sounds like I'm talking about New York, but I'm talking about Rotterdam. Once I like settle down with maybe a partner and kids and um stuff like that i would love to buy or build a house in spain um just kind of like more private more secluded is that what it's called and i'd also love to have my mom live with me again so my mom's getting older obviously so i feel like i would definitely do that like maybe somewhere in the mount mountains like uh in the hills somewhere Oh my god, I'm out of breath. I just ran up and down the stairs. I'm sorry. So yeah, I definitely could, but more so when I'm like settling down. And I want to just like be away from the busyness. But as of right now, I still kind of like that. So, and I'm going to have to learn Spanish because I can't speak Spanish, but I want to be, I want to be fluent in Spanish once I do move. Someone asked, how often do you work out? I actually do not work out. I worked out before COVID started. I would go to the gym five days a week. And I loved it and I definitely want to get back into it, but I just haven't found a gym in my area that seems like the right fit for me. I'm just going to do some spot concealing because I have these darker spots and my like cream bronzer is making them even darker. So I, I don't work out currently. I haven't worked out properly since like a year ago, really. But I do think my body looks best it's ever looked. I just haven't 
been like working out so i don't know how that works i also do not eat healthy like i have nothing i have no tips to share like a lot of people ask me about it like i'm i have nothing to share because i don't eat healthy i don't like i don't work out um once i do i will obviously share it but i just that's just not what i'm doing at the moment so there's nothing i can really share yeah hopefully i'll find a good gym soon because then i do definitely want to start working out again i feel like it will be good for my body as well you know just be nice and active get it stronger again because my legs like my i've been having a lot of knee pain because i just have really weak knees especially one knee that i had surgery on twice um and i need to like strengthen my leg muscles again so that I can kind of support my knees better so i also kind of have to do it just medically to make sure my body doesn't fall apart so yeah i'll start working out again soon when i find a gym that i feel comfortable at because unfortunately as a woman you can't just go anywhere and feel comfortable but thanks it's definitely a compliment when people ask for my workout routine um i think it's really sweet but i just don't have any Thing to share with you what are your thoughts on relation instagram relationships i think it's weird i wouldn't ever really i've like relationships is a part of my life that i keep very private like i've never shared anyone i've dated on my social media because i just don't want to i mean i'm sure once i actually meet someone that i am actually in a relationship with and i know like everything's good i'll share it eventually but i just a lot of people will just share too much and if you do have a fight or you like break up for like a day it's so obvious to the public and i just think that's a little embarrassing like i just wouldn't want that like eventually if i do end up in a relationship i will share the person i just won't share as much like i i, I don't know how to explain it i just wouldn't make it the main thing you'll see on my on my social media like some people just milk their relationship and it social media can ruin your relationship too because everyone will have an opinion about it and i just think that can like fuck up your whole relationship which is sad i think a lot of people would work out if they didn't like put their whole relationship online i don't think i'd ever have like a super public relationship like oh couples channel couples this that like no let's stay our own person and just keep it on the dl like share some things here and there if it's like your anniversary or your birthday or like you're doing something fun together but i would never just make my whole instagram page me and my partner like to each their own but do you think you can be friends with an ex that broke your heart when you were dating no because i hold grudges <laughs> i just like last person i dated and um, they hurt me a lot and like we weren't in a relationship but i ended up getting very hurt and i hold grudges like if I would run into that person right now, like, don't expect a nice greeting from me. I just don't do that. I hold grudges and I, I'll move on, but I'm never going to forget about it. So we could never be friends if you, especially if you hurt me. Like, if you do me wrong like that, that clearly shows you do, do not care about me. Like, not as a friend either. Because um, if you did, you wouldn't have acted the way you did. So I don't think I could do that. This is a new bronzer I've been using from Fenty. My sister went to the UK and she brought me home some Fenty that I sent her like a whole list and I love the color. Pop this on my nose and it kind of right away just contours it. I don't know how that happens but this brush is really good for it. I do a little bit of carving or like cutting. Hope my bronzer doesn't look splotchy i a lot of times it just looks splotchy and i don't know how to fix it but i'm sorry if this is too personal but how did you start having a healthier relationship with food i'm currently struggling okay i'm gonna be really honest i do not have a healthy relationship with food um i also am not i don't i can't really consider myself having an eating disorder right now because i don't think i do but like i definitely recovered from the anorexia and bulimia that i did deal with um in the past couple of years but i think that like i just still don't have a healthy relationship with food like i still look at food as i have to eat because if i don't i'm gonna die basically but i don't really enjoy eating the only time i enjoy eating is after i've smoked because then like everything just tastes so much better and i can actually enjoy my food um 
which is also one of the reasons why I smoke as well because it actually helps me eat. But I'm not gonna sit here and recommend smoking weed to eat better because that's not a good thing to do. I wouldn't say smoking is healthy for you. Um, so yeah, I don't think I have a healthy relationship with food, but I have kind of gotten to the point where I'm like, I eat because I have to, um, but I just don't enjoy it, if that makes sense. But I, yeah, I feel like maybe switching to that mindset will help you in the right direction. It can be a really long journey. I'm still not there, but eventually I will be. Um, and I think it's just important to start looking at food as fuel and not as the bad guy. Um, but it definitely can take a while to actually enjoy eating and like, I don't know if that makes any sense. I don't want to get into it too much because like I said, that's not what this video is about. I want to keep this quite light, but I just saw that question. I was like, let me answer it. Stop seeing food as the enemy and start seeing it as fuel and energy for your body because if you don't eat, you're not going to be able to live and um yeah don't be so hard on yourself like it's fine to eat and it's fine to not always eat healthy it's fine to enjoy yourself um don't beat yourself up about it yeah i guess that would you want to adopt a child instead of having it naturally it's not my um number one choice i guess like i'd rather have kids naturally but i would love to at least adopt one child in my life um if it's if it's allowed if i can make it work like adoption isn't easy it can take a really long time it can be really expensive but if i can afford it at the time and you know i'll be able to make it work i'd love to adopt a child but i definitely also want to have kids on my own i kind of want to do both um whatever is planned out for me i don't know we'll see I have nothing against adoption, obviously. If I won't be able to have children myself, then I think adoption would be my first choice for sure. Someone asked, who are your celebrity crushes? Um, Celebrity crushes. I feel like I, like celebrity, I don't really know. I feel like I don't really keep up with a lot of celebs. I feel like it's more just like social media people. There's a lot, I go through phases. There's so many people I like, I don't know. Let me think about this one. This one's hard. Um, let's actually like divide it into like social platforms. So starting with YouTube, I would say, okay, see, Kian used to be like my YouTube crush, Kian Lolly, but then I started watching JC streams and I really like JC as a person and I kind of grew to like having a crush on him. Um, so I feel like JC Kalen <laughs> is one of my like social media crushes because um, I was watching his streams. He hasn't streamed in a while, so I haven't really been watching and keeping up with him, but he's one of my YouTube crushes. Um, who else on YouTube? Ah, getting everything dirty. Noel Miller. <laughs> he's engaged though, so that's kind of off limits and he's like a grown ass man like he's in his 30s honestly i don't have many youtube crushes i don't really watch youtube anyways that much anymore like i obviously post on here but i don't really watch many videos so then instagram oh i have a lot but there's some that i just can't say because we like follow each other and i don't want to make it awkward and especially with like women and i know that these women are straight so i don't want to make it weird so I'm, i think i'm just not gonna say that um do I have any guy crushes on Instagram? I don't think so at the moment. I'm a very picky, <laughs> picky person. There's two guys that have been catching my eye on TikTok and I think I follow them both. One of them is, this TikTok is Wizard, Bla Wizard Blast. I don't know. He's fine as hell, but he knows too. Vinny Hacker, he knows too. He knows too, but Vinny's also kind of young. I think he's turning 19 this year, which is kind of young. Um, he's like the same age as Luca. If I didn't know his age, I would think he's like 20, 21. That's what I thought when I first saw him. Um, I feel like Vinny Hacker's like everyone's TikTok crush though. So that's not really anything special to mention. My brow's cute like that, I don't know. Also, please don't go tell any of these people I said this. Let's keep it in the comments and nowhere else because 
I don't want to be exposed. There's this one girl I follow on TikTok. Her name is Melina Cohens. She's fine as fuck, but I don't know if she's gay. I don't think so. Um, she's really fine. This other like girl I followed yesterday. She's like she plays guitar. That's her. She's really cute as well. Besides that, I don't know. I'm sure there's more, but I just I don't know. I don't really keep up with that many people. It's just whoever I see and then I go through phases like, oh, they're cute, they're cute. And then a couple months later, I've moved on and I'm looking at other people. A lot of white people as well, which is not usually my cup of tea. I think I've only dated one white person. Yeah, actually I have only dated one white person. Everyone else was black or like mixed with black. Maybe it's a white boy summer, guys. That's what I was thinking and I'm kind of disappointed in myself, but it might be a white boy summer. I'm so sorry. There's just been a lot of like white people popping out. I'm like, why am I kind of into this? Okay, I think I'm actually almost done with my makeup, which means I probably will have time to go to the grocery store. Let's see if I have one or two more questions to answer. What do you do when you don't feel your best like things that cheer you up? I, well, recently I've gone into gaming, which has been a really nice like way for me to relax um, and just kind of chill and not think about other things. Um, it's a good distraction. And I also just love being with family and friends. Um, like when I don't feel good, I usually just like go see my mom if I can, or I FaceTime her, or I just chill in my bedroom. Make sure it's like you create a nice vibe in your bedroom. I like your bedroom needs to be your space, your your way of escaping in my opinion like when i first moved here my bedroom was very bland but i've started adding some like led lights and stuff and a tv and everything and i like to just lay there usually after smoking and i just watch some like videos watch youtube listen to music just kind of vibe out but like not really pay attention to social media like just kind of be on your own i really like doing that um to recharge especially because a lot of times with me when i don't feel good it's just because i need to recharge you know like everything i put out i try to put out positivity and it also kind of makes my life appear perfect which it is not even though i'm very blessed and i have a very good life like i cannot complain but i also absolutely deal with mental health issues and i think that's not something to be ashamed about and i'm i definitely want to like share that and um not act like i'm all perfect or anything like last night i was having the craziest fucking anxiety attacks it was really weird and i literally thought i was gonna pass out like 20 times i'm using this morphe this i got this pr package from the dixie and what's her name charlie collab they did and these like lip oils are really nice they're kind of like coconutty So cute okay i'm not putting on falsies usually i'll put on falsies but um sometimes they make my eyes water and i just don't feel like dealing dealing with that today so i think this is the makeup am i missing something i don't think so i'm gonna go ahead and show you my outfit now let me go wash my hands i need to moisturize my tattoos and then i'm gonna make my bed and show you my outfit <laughs> okay this is the outfit i hope you can see my camera's quite far so i don't know I'm wearing this dress from with jean. I put some like shorts underneath just so I'm safe. <laughs> My bag is from by far. I'm wearing some Balenciaga track two sneakers and I'm gonna try to link all of my jewelry down below because I'm wearing a lot. I've really been into that. I'm gonna go get groceries now for my family, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up if you did, and of course, subscribe. Let me know if you want me to do these more often, where I, you know, take you through my whole routine, even with my skincare. Thought it was fun, and yeah, thank you for watching. I love you, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!